हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एबेक्स के क्लासेस जस्ट लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ आर फर्दर वीडियोस इन टूडेज वीडियो वी सेल डिस्कस अबाउट वाइगोस्की वाइगोस्की was a swiss psychologist and he has given a slogan that the teacher must adopt the role of facilitator not content provider it means according to vygotsky a teacher is not content provider a teacher is a facilitator it means the teacher is here to provide learning opportunities to children not to provide content okay it means children are active and they will learn you are here only to provide opportunities for children and vygotsky emphasizes in keeping children in social touch because the name of the theory given by lev vygotsky is socio cultural theory as the name suggest socio cultural theory there are two major important factor according to this name and that are society and culture these are the two important factors according to the name of vygotsky's theory and the third important factor is language that vygotsky has talked about now let's start questions the first question is vygotsky was from as i have just told you vygotsky was a swiss psychologist it means he was from switzerland keep in mind both piaget and vygotsky are from switzerland both are swiss psychologist and vygotsky was from switzerland he read many books written by jean piaget it means you can say vygotsky was a follower of jean piaget he criticized him mainly for his thoughts about language and society language and society are the two major factors that are very important according to vygotsky and these factors are neglected by jean piaget or you can say these factors are little of importance according to jean piaget that's why piaget uh, was criticized by vygotsky just for language and society now the next question is constructivism as a theory let's discuss what is the meaning of the term constructivism the constructivism means the, that the children are active children explore children discover and just for these qualities jean piaget called them little scientist and these are the major factors as well according to uh, vygotsky because both are constructivist so according to this theory children construct their own knowledge children construct their own ideas okay 
so the term constructivism means that children are constructive they construct their own knowledge they construct their own ideas about this world so let's discuss the option the first option is focuses on the role of imitation that's wrong because the children are active they don't imitate they explore the second option is emphasizes the role of the learners in constructing his or her own views of the world that's the correct option because it has the meaning of the term constructivism because here the learners are constructing their own views their own learning their own knowledge and their own ideas third option is emphasizing on memorizing information those who are active those who want memorize option d is emphasizes on the dominant role of the teacher and as i've told you previously teacher is just a facilitator it means teacher is not contract pro content provider teacher has no dominant role that's why the most suitable option here is option b that's our answer according to vygotsky here are some points that are very important about this theory the first one is children construct their knowledge as i have told you here it is the major meaning of the term constructivism and those psychologists who believe in that are known as constructivist second one is development cannot be separated from its social context as i have told you society is very important factor for the development of a child according to vygotsky that's why children cannot be separated from its social context third point is prior conceptions and new concepts are interwoven it means when your previous knowledge is attached to your new knowledge then your new ideas get formed it means creativism occur due to the interaction between your new knowledge and your prior knowledge and the fourth one is language plays a central role in mental development it means if the child is developing or you can say if we will talk about cognitive development of a child or mental development of a child or intellectual development of child according to vygotsky language is one of the major factors that plays a very very and very important role in child's cognitive development now next question is which of the following is based on vygotsky's socio cultural theory first one is operant conditioning second one is reciprocal teaching third one is cultural neutral background and the fourth one is insight learning here the term operant conditioning it is introduced by skinner the term that is used by vygotsky is reciprocal teaching third point is cultural neutral background and you know culture and society are the major factors of vygotsky's theory culture does not play a neutral role fourth option is insight learning insight learning is given by gestaltist who are gestaltist there are three major persons those are known as gestaltist the first one is kohler second one is kovka and the third one is vardimov
these three introduced inside learning or you can say inside theory of learning so here the correct answer will be option b reciprocal teaching this term is introduced by vygotsky and it has four steps the four steps of reciprocal teaching are questioning predicting clarifying and summarizing here question can be asked from you which of the following is not a part of reciprocal teaching or which of the following is not a step of reciprocal teaching three of these will be there in options and there will be the fourth one that will be not in one of these because there are four options the first one is question, uh, questioning second one is predicting third one is clarifying and the fourth one is summarizing these are the four steps according to Vygotsky's reciprocal teaching theory a class must be interactive there must be questioning in the class a student must be able to predict it means they must guess first they must imagine and then they must try to answer what must be the answer of that particular question the third one is clarifying it means clear concept must be given to students and the fourth one is summarizing summarizing means to reach at the conclusion these are the four major factors of reciprocal teaching or you can say these are four important steps of reciprocal teaching according to Vygotsky's theory so reciprocal teaching theory is also given by Vygotsky now next question is Vygotsky's theory of Vygotsky's theory which aspect of development gets neglected here are four options the first one is social second one is cultural third one is biological and the fourth one is linguistic as I have told you in Vygotsky's theory society language and culture these three are the major important terms that's why the answer will be biological biological factor is neglected by Vygotsky because Vygotsky believes in social context and language development plays a vital role in the development of child's cognition in child's mind or you can say in a child's mental development and culture is equally important in Vygotsky's theory of social learning sorry uh, that we call socio-cultural theory these are the three major factors in Vygotsky's theory the first one is culture then society and then language here language development is the result of interaction between the members of society okay it means culture and society plays a very important role in child's language development now the next question is according to socio-cultural theory of Vygotsky here are four options the first one is cultural culture and language play a crucial role in development as you know this statement is correct because culture and language these play a crucial role a very important role in child's development the second option is the child thinks in different domains and does not take a complete perspective it is not related to Vygotsky's theory third one is 
children think in abstract terms if presented abstract material at a lower stage and the fourth one is self directed speech is the lowest stage of the term scaffolding so the more suitable option here will be option 1 society and language as well as culture these are the three major factors in Vygotsky's socio cultural theory okay as i have just told you society cultural uh, and language these are the three major factors in theory of Vygotsky and Vygotsky's theory is known as socio cultural theory next question is the teacher noticed that Pushpa cannot solve a problem on her own. However, she does so in the presence of adult or peer guidance. The guidance is called. You have four options. Pre-operational thinking. There is no such terms that is used by Vygotsky. Second one is ZPD. ZPD means zone of proximal development. And the third one is scaffolding. Scaffolding directly means help. And the fourth one is lateralization. No such term is used by Vygotsky. So the correct answer here will be, he is talking about guidance. It means help, support, or you can say assistance. And the assistance that is provided to the child or the help that is provided to the child with which the child gains its goal or reaches its highest level that is known as ZPD. This help, this guidance, this support is known as scaffolding okay and these are the three major terms that are used by Vygotsky the first one is scaffolding the second one is ZPD and the third one is MQ let's understand these terms what does these terms mean Suppose you are appearing in seated examination and when you try it, you got approximately 80 marks. And then you joined Apex Career Classes. And Apex Career Classes provided you guidance and you can say apex career classes helped you provided help provided support or you can say provided assistance and with this support now you are able to score 120 plus marks this help that is provided to you or the child is known as scaffolding and the phase that is achieved by you with that support or you can say the difference between what a child can do itself and what it can do with the help of others or you can say the gap or the face covered by child with the help of adults and peers is known as ZPD what is ZPD it means zone of proximal development as I have written previously here ZPD means the face that is covered by a child 
विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ अदर्स इट मीन्स हेयर यू गॉट गाइडेंस फ्रॉम एपेक्स केरियर क्लासेस एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू द गाइडेंस विल बी नोन एज स्कैप होल्डिंग एंड वॉट यू अचीव विद द हेल्प ऑफ एपेक्स दैट इज जेड पी डी एंड द प्रोवाइडर ऑफ हेल्प और यू कैन से हेल्पर सपोर्टर और गाइड इट इज नोन एज एम के ओ इट मीन्स मोर नॉलेजेबल अदर्स it means those who had more knowledge than you provided support to you and you achieved a particular goal now what you achieved is zone of proximal development the help you got that is scaffolding and who helped you is known as mko and one thing to remember is that MQO must have knowledge than the learner. MQO must have knowledge more than the learner. Okay? I think you must have understood the meaning of these three major terms: scaffolding, ZPD, and MQO. Let's understand further. Now, next question is: Which of the following statements best describes, best summarizes? the relationship between development and learning as proposed by vygotsky the relationship between development and learning is explained by two candidates the first one is jean piaget and the second one is vygotsky Vygotsky criticized here Jean Piaget and he developed just an opposite view what was that let's understand according to Vygotsky first a child learns it means learning takes place first and then the child gets developed it means first a child learns then the child develops but according to vygotsky uh, sorry according to piaget a child develops first a child develops first and after developing or you can say after the process of development the child learning it means development takes place first learning takes place later according to piaget so we can say here piaget and vygotsky both had an opposite view about the relationship between learning and development let's know what's the difference development is independent of learning it's not correct second one is development process lags behind the learning process it means learning is taking first place then the child is getting developed third one is development is synonymous with learning it is also wrong learning and development are parallel process it's also wrong so the correct will be according to vygotsky learning takes uh, takes place first development takes place later so the correct option here will be option b okay now next question a major difference between the perspectives of vygotsky and piaget pertains to be first one is their critique of behavior principles second one is the role of providing nurturing environment to children 
थर्ड वन इज देयर व्यू अबाउट लैंग्वेज एंड थॉट एंड द फोर्थ वन इज देयर कंसेप्शन ऑफ चिल्ड्रन एज एक्टिव कंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ नॉलेज वाइगोस की एंड जीन प्यासे बोथ हैड एन अपोजिट व्यू अबाउट टू थिंग्स द फर्स्ट वन इज about the relationship between learning and development and the second one is about uh, you can say relationship between language and thought so the correct option here will be their view about language and thought that's the correct answer what's the difference let's see here according to jean piaget cognitive development is more important it means a child develops its mental skills itself but according to vygotsky there is a social cultural view it means learning is a social activity whereas according to jean piaget learning is a solitary activity and according to jean piaget thoughts develops first and thoughts determine language whereas according to vygotsky language develops first and language determines thoughts so this is the major difference between the theory of jean piaget and vygotsky and the other differences are piaget gives importance to heredity maturity or you can say biological factors or you can say vygotsky gives importance to society culture and language the major factors of jean piaget are neglected by vygotsky and the major factors of vygotsky's theory are neglected by jean piaget now next question our next question is according to vygotsky zpd zpd is i have just told you about zpd let's understand again here the first option is zone de uh, demarking support offered by the teacher second one is the gap between what the child can do independently and with assistance third one is the amount and nature of support provided to the child to achieve her potentialities the fourth one is what the child can do on her own which cannot be assessed let's see you can see two pictures here in the first picture a mother is providing support to her child and that help is known as scaffolding it is not zpd it means help provided to the child is known as scaffolding and mother is here that is more knowledgeable than the child is mko mko is what helper that is m k o and now you can see the child is riding bicycle itself without any support now this difference what a child can do itself what a child can do with support 
the difference between these two activities it means what the child can do itself and what the child can do with the support of others this gap this difference is known as ZPD or you can write it in one more way the phase achieved with the help of MKO it is also known as ZPD it means now this phase that the child has received now it is just because of the guidance that was provided to the child previously and now the prior knowledge is used by this child and now it's writing it itself this phase or you can see the difference what the child did with support and the what the child can do without support this difference this gap or the phase that is achieved is known as zone of proximal development okay so the correct answer here will be the gap between what the child can do independently and with assistance that is known as zpd correct option here will be option b now next question the amount and type of scaffolding to a child would change depending on first option is here mood of the teacher it is totally illogical second option is child's innate abilities Vygotsky doesn't talk about heredity the third one is rewards offered for the task Vygotsky hasn't talked about rewards or you can say punishments fourth option is level of the child's performance it means when you are providing scaffolding to the child and the amount of that help that scaffolding or that assistance will change according to the performance of that child like now you are helping that much and the child is performing in this way here is help or you can say scaffolding and here is performance now child's performance increased and so the amount of scaffolding decreased now the performance increased again and the amount of help decreased again and in the end you will not provide any help to the child and the child will learn how to perform their task independently so the amount of help and the kind of help the kind of scaffolding will be decreased according to the level of the child's performance okay now next question is now it's suggesting now the help that is provided to the child is no more because now the child is performing well it needs no help it means when the child is in no need of scaffolding you won't provide any scaffolding to that child next question is which of these is an example of scaffolding i think you must have understood the meaning of the term scaffolding clearly so let's answer this question the first option is giving motivational lectures to students second option is offering explanations without encouraging questioning 
थर्ड ऑप्शन इज ऑफरिंग बोथ मटेरियल एंड नॉन मटेरियल रिवार्ड्स फोर्थ वन इज गिविंग प्रॉम्स एंड क्ल्यूज एंड आस्किंग क्वेश्चन एट क्रिटिकल जंक्शर सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर विल बी ऑप्शन डी बिकॉज इन ऑप्शन डी यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग क्यूज टू चिल्ड्रन यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग प्रॉम्स टू चिल्ड्रन एंड दीज हिंड्स विल हेल्प द चाइल्ड टू परफॉर्म बेटर and according to the performance of the child the kind and amount of the scaffolding will get changed now next question is vygotsky theory implies first option is collaborative problem solving second one is individual assignment to each student third one is after initial explanation do not support a child in solving difficult questions fourth option is child will learn best in the company of children having iq lesser than him or her here the correct option will be option a because according to vygotsky when a child learns there are three major factors that are included in learning process and these factors are collaboration group work games and plays collaboration group work and games helps the child most in the process of development now next question is scaffolding in the context of learning theories refers to first one is first option is here simulation teaching second option is recapitulation of previous learning third option is temporary support in learning by adults that is known as scaffolding fourth option is ascertaining the cause of mistakes done by students i think you must have understood must have understood what is the correct answer of this question the correct answer is here option c the support that is not permanent because the support is decreased according to the performance of that child so correct option here will be c the help the support the assistance that is provided to the child by adults is known as scaffolding it's just help in general sense now next question is a teacher wishes to help her students to appreciate multiple views of a situation she provides her students multiple opportunities to debate in this situation in different groups according to vygotsky's perspective her students will dot 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 various view and develop multiple perspectives of the situation on their own as you know vygotsky was a constructivist and according to him children construct their own ideas children construct their views children construct their knowledge children construct their own perspectives so the correct option here will be option b okay now next question is according to vygotsky children learn here you have options the first one is by maturation second one is by imitation third one is by interacting with adults and peers and the fourth one is when reinforcement is offered let's go to the name of theory again the vygotsky's theory is known as socio 
कल्चरल थ्योरी इट मींस सोसाइटी एंड कल्चर प्ले अ वीटल रोल इन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ चाइल्ड एंड वॉट एवर द चाइल्ड इज लर्निंग इट इज लर्निंग बाय इंटरेक्टिंग विद पियर्स और बाय इंटरेक्टिंग विद एल्डर्स दैट्स वाई द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर विल बी ऑप्शन सी ओके we have discussed each and everything that is generally asked in seated examination about vygotsky and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe it just press the bell icon to get the notification of further videos and don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends as many times as possible thank you very much i thank you once again